Feeling like the stars are aligned against you? <laughs> are circumstances lining up to stop your progress? You shall not pass. Well, you're in the right place because today we're going to beat the odds and overcome the obstacles. And we're starting right now. Welcome to Super Shea Tutorials. I'm Danny Shea. This is your Monday motivation. So let me start by telling you that uh, this whole video today was sparked by the, uh, the circumstances that happened over the past weekend. So every year we take our instructors who are testing for certification out into the wilderness and we conduct their testing there. Uh, it's out at the Red River Gorge. We had a great time, but here's how it started. So I'm on the road heading to meet up with the group that I'm riding down with. I get there, well, on the way there, I get a call and the person that's driving says, okay, so I have to go pick so-and-so up because their car won't start today. Uh, so that began to, you know, spark in the head. Okay, so we're, we're starting this way, are we? At any rate, we get there. I'm a little late because I made an extra stop since I got that call and then we head out. So we go to the spot where everybody meets up and we start to head down to the gorge. Well, uh, before we can do that, the car I'm riding in will not start. So finally we get it started and everybody takes off. We head down to the area out in, uh, out in Kentucky. We get close and we make this stop at a gas station and find out that in Kentucky, it is uh, get outside weekend. So automatically this tells us there's gonna be more people out there. Okay, fine and dandy. So we continue on, we get to the gorge, we pull in the parking lot into, into the area that we are typically going to to do our testing. And it starts to rain, yeah. So we wait there about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours in the parking lot. Now, this is not the greatest start to our testing ever, but you know what? We got to stand around and talk and, you know, have a good time there. So fast forward, we get our campsite set up. So we head down to our testing site. And as we finish setting that up, a gentleman comes down and he starts questioning us and then threatens to call the park ranger on us because, you know, we have stuff set up for a ceremony, quote unquote. So we end up packing everything up, bringing it back to our campsite and proceeded to come together and discuss how we were going to do it. Well, we still had our testing. Uh, and then after, after the testing was over, the next morning, everybody's getting up. Uh, my group is the first one to get up. We head out. And as soon as we get to the car, we find that it doesn't start again. So all of this made for a very, very interesting weekend. So what was the outcome? Well, we had a great time. We built friendships, had camaraderie that probably would not have happened unless all of those things had gotten in the way. We had to come together as a group to find a new way to do things. So we had to innovate that which we have done for probably 20 years ritualistically. We had a huge amount of laughter and stories to tell after the testing was over while sitting around the campfire. We got extra time to just sit and talk with each other during the rain. All of these things, had they not happened, would have had a completely different outcome on our certification testing. We would not have had that time. We would have had several different things going on that would have negated some of the camaraderie that we gained. So what's the point of all this? Well, the point is that things work out best for those who make the best of how things work out. It's not about what gets in your way. It's do you overcome it? Do you continue moving forward? Or do you see that obstacle and say, you know what? This is in my way. 
I can't do it. No point. I'm going to quit. That in and of itself determines your outcome. We didn't quit. We didn't pack up and leave and just say to heck with it. We continued moving forward in the circumstances that were handed to us. You can't control what the outside world is going to throw at you. All you can control is how you react to it. So if you react and continue moving forward, guess what? Eventually the obstacles are going to be overcome and you're going to feel even more accomplished for having done whatever it is despite those obstacles. I'm, I'm quite certain that all of the people that tested over the weekend feel incredibly accomplished because not only did they do something that was extremely difficult out of their element, but they did it against all odds. Now, if you can't tell me that that, if you, if you tell me that that's not superhuman, I don't know what is. They went out, they attacked it, they defeated the odds, and I believe they're all gonna be very, very successful from their testing. And pretty much everything they do because that is what they have learned how to do through all of this, overcome the odds beat the obstacles, continue moving forward. That in and of itself is a lesson that I think everybody needs. So don't be afraid to get out and work hard for it. Because at the end of the day, if you've worked hard for it, if you've had things lining up in front of you to stop your progress, then that means at the end of the day, you're going to feel absolutely amazing once you've overcome it. And you will. Thank you all for being here. I hope you all enjoy these videos. Check out the Monday Motivation videos I do. Uh, the tutorial videos with the weaponry. If you've never touched a weapon before, check it out. It's worth it. You'll have a great time. You'll learn some awesome skills and you'll feel amazing, especially on the hard ones. And I do YouTube shorts throughout the week to kind of show you how all those tricks go together into combinations and or forms, which is another step in the direction of difficulty or accomplishment, depending on how you look at it. Thank you all so much for being here. Hope you all have a phenomenal, awesome day.